Temperatures are cooling off tonight and we're going to get much colder. We'll give you the latest details coming up. Plus, Hattiesburg's newest grocery store opens tomorrow. More on another option for neighbors in the Pine Belt after a soft opening today. And a local school is making some upgrades for students. We'll have the details on what kids can expect when your news at 10 starts right now. Tonight, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side with WDAM 7 News at 10. Welcome in Pine Belt. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Clark. Another night of temperatures dropping fast. So let's get over to our weather team tonight. Patrick, how cold are we going to get? Yeah, we're already getting pretty chilly out there tonight here across South Mississippi. Temperatures are falling a little bit faster than expected. And because of that, I bumped down our low about a degree or two. Uh, we're already into the upper 30s right now, 38 degrees out at the uh, campus of USM for tonight. However, there's a live look over Midtown Hattiesburg, a beautiful cold night there out at the Mississippi Power Sky Cam. Winds are calm at the moment. It's 36 now in Purvis, 36 in Laurel, 34 already in Columbia in Foxworth, 39 in New Augusta and 35 right now in Taylorsville and that temperature is going to continue to drop. In fact, we uh, bumped it down about two degrees now expecting uh, temperatures to bottom out right around 30 degrees in Hattiesburg. So I would not be surprised to see some upper 20s in some of those more outlying communities outside of uh, Hattiesburg or Laurel. So it's going to be a very cold start tomorrow morning for those kiddos as they head to the bus stop. A warm jacket would definitely be nice for them as we head into the afternoon though. We're going to warm up nicely. 61 degrees. A few clouds are going to move in across the area and it's really going to be a beautiful day. Enjoy it because we're going to start to see more clouds move in towards your Friday. I'll break it all down in just a few minutes. Patrick, thanks. We'll check back with you soon tonight. People in Jackson County are in mourning after a deadly crash that killed two recent high school graduates. Kayla Watkins, Kyla Watkins and Sadari Watson Pearson were killed in a crash on Highway 49 in Stone County yesterday. A third person in that crash, Tatiana Richmond, remains in critical condition. All three girls were graduates of Gaucher High School and were all on the cheerleading squad during their time at the middle and high school. Their former coach says she is still in shock. Kyla, which we called Muffin, uh, Tatiana and Sadari were super close. They went to Perk together. So that's why it's, this is really going to affect the Gaucher community because these girls grew up together. They all were very outgoing, well-known, and so the community is just going to have to bond together and be strong for each other. The Mississippi Highway Patrol continues to investigate the crash. There will be a community candlelight vigil tomorrow at 5 p.m. at Gaucher High School's stadium. One person is dead after a shooting in the Hoy community in Jones County today. The sheriff's department said it is in the early stages of its investigation, but one person was shot in Windsor Court. The coroner tells us that person died at the hospital. Deputies say the shooting suspect is in custody and there's no ongoing threat to the community. We've reached out to the coroner's office tonight for more information on the age and the gender of that victim, but the person's name has not been released as family members are being notified. The sheriff's office is expected to release additional details tomorrow. Stay with us for updates. Well, in lighter news for you tonight, Aldi is giving customers a sneak peek before the Hattiesburg location officially opens tomorrow with a ribbon cutting. Our Trey Howard has reaction from neighbors excited about another grocery option in town. Hello and good evening, Pine Belt. Well, just a day before all these doors officially open here in Hattiesburg, people got the opportunity to slide by and get a little sneak peek at the grocery store here tonight. And from what I can see, it's all been positive reviews. Since I've been here, the parking lot has been packed. People have been coming in and out with mostly excitement for having another grocery option here in Hattiesburg. Now, the doors officially open tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with the store offering incentives for the first 100 customers. So all day tomorrow is sure to be a bunch of excitement here in Hattiesburg for the new Aldi store opening. I will send it back to the studio, but for now in Hattiesburg, Trey Howard, WDAM7 on your side. All right, Trey, thanks. Well, also news out of Hattiesburg for you tonight. The Hattiesburg Veterans Committee will host a program to honor Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day tomorrow. The details are here on your screen. It will be at 430 at Veterans Memorial Park. 
The committee will also dedicate the park's Christmas tree in honor of the names listed on the park's pillars. The program will include a prayer by Father Tommy Conway, the placing of a Christmas wreath, and the silent night performance led by Lieutenant Colonel Fred Varnado. And a quick traffic notice for folks in Lamar County. Old Highway 11 will be closed between Oak Grove Road and Old Highway 24 throughout the day this coming Saturday. Plantation Boulevard will be used as a detour during that closure. Two construction projects are also underway in Laurel. One is on Ellisville Boulevard from Carroll Garten Boulevard to Jefferson Street, where crews are replacing all water services and installing new water meters. Workers will lay new pavement as well. The project will continue to the Interstate Bridge. The other work is on Central Avenue to Speck Wilson Boulevard, connecting to Carroll Garten. That will consist of improving sidewalks and crosswalks for better access to businesses with bricked pavement. Work will take about four to six weeks. A new guide in Laurel makes sure parents have all the resources available to help families in need. The guide is made up of about 15 organizations in Laurel and Jones County. It includes contact information for programs and organizations that help with resources for low cost health care, food, education, out of school enrichments, and more. Free copies of the guide are available at the local organization and PDFs will soon be up on the web. They're doing something to uh, help. Just to revamp its elementary playground equipment, the grant was awarded through a partnership between the Pine Belt Foundation and Blue Cross Blue Shield. It will allow the school to install turf on the playground and replace the old equipment there. Principal Michael Hall says the upgrade will be the first in about a decade. Well, we've added, about 10 years ago, we added some pieces to it. Uh, someone else wrote a grant, a small grant for some, uh, Lowe's grant for some small pieces. Uh, but that's been outdated. Our enrollment has grown. So this is going to help our enrollment, help with that. And kids will be able to have a lot of playing surfaces to play on. The school expects to begin receiving equipment at the beginning of the year. Some heated moments today at the Hattiesburg Planning Commission over possible zoning changes proposed for East Hattiesburg. The Planning Commission eventually voted to recommend denying those proposed changes. We'd like for change to come in, but we also want to take care of the people that are already there. We'll have much more from today's discussion at the Planning Commission on our website at WDAM.com. State lawmakers will begin their session next month without a broad outline about how the state should spend your money during the next fiscal year. The Joint Legislative Budget Committee met earlier in the day because of an earlier disagreement with Governor Tate Reeves over how much money the state might collect during the year. The committee did not act. Lieutenant Governor Dilbert Hoseman says budget writers need to be cautious because the revenue trend is not going positively. Tax collections in September and October of this year were lower than during the same months last year. Still ahead at 10 o'clock, at least three people are dead after a shooting at a Las Vegas university. We'll have the very latest information when we come back.